Hey, Plush. You're asking for an overview of the sales force. I have to start with a note that I wrote to Dan Cuddy. One morning on my walk to work, I wrote this called The Blind Man and His Groundskeeper. In the morning, the blind man hires a groundskeeper to rake the leaves off his lawn. The groundskeeper agrees. In the afternoon, the blind man walks his lawn and feels the crushing of leaves under his feet. He sues the groundskeeper. In the evening, the judge finds the groundskeeper not guilty. The groundskeeper raked the lawn on a windy day. Can't blame the blind man for being blind and can't blame the groundskeeper for doing the work he was asked to do. The remedy is to get a groundskeeper who refuses to work on a windy day. I wrote that because there's a team called Flexen involved in the sales force. They are a compliant team. They are a, a supplicant team or a yes man team. What it means When you have a team like that, you have the appearance of progress. What you get is for a moment what you want. They're happy to give you an immediate satisfaction. In the case of this call that preceded my writing of that message, Dan Cuddy asked for something. They said, it sounds like a bad idea for technical reasons. Dan Cuddy asked again, and they said, okay, we'll do it. So their sales force is leaves blowing in the wind. It is a mess. It is a common thing in Salesforce. It's nothing particularly unique that the Cuddy financial Salesforce is a mess. They get messy. All databases do. It's not even that the databases we build are perfect, you know? So that's the overview of their sales force. It's this messy, windy setting where all sorts of data fields come. They might be nice for a moment, then they get passed over. You might get uh, multiple data fields, one, two, three, four, five representations of a secondary email might get like the secondary email and then you might get the backup email and then you might get email number two, secondary and backup and number two. They all mean the same thing. Semantically, they're meant to be the same. They've had these multiple revisions to uh, be just paying lip service, you know? And it's, uh, of course, poetic. I just read that for the first time since I wrote it months ago. That here I am, here we are as the groundskeepers that will not supplicate, that will not be yes men, who have a thought on what it takes to be building something in a credible way, in a way that delivers what the blind man wants and he stopped trusting us. I stopped liking him. The challenge of all of this for me is the vision is good. It's the hands that aren't. It's a better metaphor to say Dan Cuddy is not the blind man. He's the, the amputee. You can see better than any of us. He knows his business better than anyone I've ever known know their business. He only lacks the 
hands. That's what we're here for. That's true for Dan Cuddy. That'll be true for the customers we replace him with. That'll always be true. Our role is to be the hands for those who have the vision. All right, Palash, it's been fun.